What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Tavi, Tavi, Tavi. Just when I thought Tavi Castro would have learned his lesson from my previous videos, I guess I was wrong. How do you know this is the experience you need? Because this is the experience you are having at this very moment. Tavi proves that people will make a mistake in life and just continue to make that mistake. You know, normally you'll hear most people do something or do something wrong, they learn from it and then they grow. And then more chance than not, it never happens again. But I swear, when Tavi does something, it's almost like he does this. I guess it was pretty wrong to borrow all that money, not give it back, claim natural while not being natural. But I think if I just lay low for a couple months and then come back, no one will remember and I can do it all again. So the problem I have with this little girl we are dealing with in this video is he has no balls. I will state it here and now, Tavi Castro has no balls. I don't know if he has testicular atrophy from taking all the gear he does when claiming natural, or if he just surgically had him taken off because he doesn't want them. And let me tell you why. So as many of you can tell from the title of this video, Tavi Castro filed a copyright takedown request for one of the videos I published, where I woke up to an email from YouTube that stated, hello, we received copyright infringement notification regarding your video. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, which basically means they're not gonna take my video down, there was no copyright. And let me show you how dumb Tavi Castro is because it actually blows my mind as I'm even making this video. Like I probably get one copyright claim every couple weeks and it's usually pertaining to a song I use. So that's what I thought it was going to be about. But then as I actually went to the YouTube link of what video it was, it linked me to Tavi Castro just ended his career. Basically a little short summary is Tavi Castro borrowed money from a guy named Peter, never paid it back. And then he slandered and defamed Peter's name without ever giving Peter a chance to defend himself. Blah, blah, blah. No one really cares about Tavi. So I don't think Tavi Castro ever knew that his conversation with YouTube would come back to me because it's my content where they say, if you still believe your copyright is infringed by the YouTube videos identified in your notification, they basically want to state how much of the copyrighted work is used. How is the market of your original work affected by this use? And here, I think he just didn't read it. May share your response with the uploaders. So I don't think Tavi ever knew I would get my hands on this. Where Tavi states, my image and name rights are being infringed. So apparently by Tavi's standards, this fucking idiot thinks you can't say people's name. Ah, oh, bro, I'm sorry I copyrighted you by saying your name. It'd really suck if there was another Tavi in the world. Ah, oh, man, what a time to live in. So another amazing point is I don't think Tavi ever took the time to actually look while filing a copyright claim that basically gives you bullet points of everything you need to understand before you sign and authorize that you think it is copyrighted material. For instance, one of them is I am the owner. You acknowledge that is accurate. But did he read, I acknowledge that there may be adverse legal consequences for making false or bad faith allegations of copyright infringement by using this process. I understand that abuse of this tool will result in termination, termination of my YouTube account. Authorized signature by Octavio Maginus Castro, the guy with no balls. This guy filed a false copyright claim while risking legal consequences and his YouTube channel being terminated over it. That's how fucking brain dead this guy is. I think even elementary kids would be able to read the bullet points and say, mm, yeah, it's not actually copyright. I probably shouldn't go through with this and sign it. Because now guess what, Tavi? <laughs> I can come back after you and get your total YouTube channel taken away and legal consequences for doing a false copyright. May we just say Tavi Castro is the smartest tool in the shed. I actually find it unfathomable and just blows my mind how someone like this can run a business. But I guess now it actually makes sense because the business went bottom up. So what had me laughing more than I have in a long time was the paragraph he wrote. So under his authorized signature, this is what Tavi stated. It's very simple. This video accuses me of illegal steroid use, which is fake and provable. This in itself is illegal and falls under liver slander laws in the Netherlands. 
Also, this video is affecting my family business and my income. Lastly, it's ruining my reputation, which I need to make money. Bro, I'm sorry, you can't be this fucking dumb. So let's break this down piece by piece. It's very simple. This video accuses me of illegal steroid use, which is fake and I provable. First off, congratulations for using great grammar while writing YouTube, which is fake and I provable. Once again, another round of applause for the smartest guy on the planet. Accuses me of illegal steroid use, which is fake. As I stand here and I say to you guys, I'm completely natural, I'm completely natural, I'm completely natural, I'm completely natural. Bro, I already have evidence from people that are close friends of yours who have seen it. And then on top of that, I don't even need the stuff I already have. Just look at your pictures. Your current and recent goal was to compete and qualify for the Olympia in classic physique. Now I know you're dumb, but you're probably not that dumb where you would think you're natural. These people I have to deal with, I swear they have zero capability of doing anything. I mean, maybe it's me at this point. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Tavi is natural? But anyways, that wasn't even the most funny one. This in itself is illegal and falls under liver slander laws in the Netherlands. Liver slander laws. Once again, this could just be me, but what the fuck is a liver slander law? Now I've had plenty of legal actions taken against me for defamation and slander, loss of wages, all sorts of stuff, but I have never heard of a liver slander law. Is that where something happened to your liver and then you're suing me over what happened to your liver? Maybe I talked badly about your liver. I slandered your liver. Now, no joke, this might be a legitimate thing in the Netherlands, but I couldn't find it anywhere online. I could not find anything pertaining to a liver slander law. So if I am mistaken, I mean, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But based on his great grammar writing to YouTube, I feel like this is another typo of some type. Also, this video is affecting my family business and my income. No, Tavi, you did that to yourself. You did that. It's all of your actions pertaining to body engineers, your actions pertaining to who you borrowed money from and never paid it back, you ruining relationships with your business partners. That is on you. And you created and started this whole situation by publishing the first YouTube video, bashing and defaming and using slander, or I should say liver slander laws against Peter. You slandered the hell out of his liver. Lastly, it's ruining my reputation, which I need to make money. Well, with the way you're progressing, Tavi, you are gonna be making a lot of money because your reputation from what I can see is just going sky high. But once again, that's not on me, that's on you. I don't ruin anyone's reputations. I have never, ever, ever, ever ruined anyone's reputation on my YouTube platform. They have all done it to themselves. I just make videos on what they have done. So it's all of your actions, just like you filing a false copyright claim, which still blows my mind. And I really hope YouTube actually pushes forward with prosecuting someone who has abused the system. And if they don't, guys, I need you to do the job for them. Order 66 Tavi Castro, that's all I gotta say. This is where YouTube declines his copyright claim and keeps my video up because it falls under fair use, freedom of speech. Everything in my video is 100% legal. So this upsets Tavi where he goes, all caps lock, please remove this. I thought YouTube wouldn't make such a hassle with such a clear slander liner and bullying video. Bullying. Bullying and slander, that's what you think I am doing. First, I would think you're smart enough for this. There is a report feature on videos for bullying and harassment. If that's what you think I was doing in my video, report it that way. Copyright is a whole different thing. And let me tell you, you are doing an illegal action by filing a false copyright claim. Not only once, but twice. It wasn't approved, so you emailed them again, please remove this and they declined you again. I legitimately despise people like this. It is the uttermost scum that is just under the scum. And just remember, this guy still claims natural. As I stand here and I say to you guys, I'm completely natural. Shit, what was that uh, line he used to say or his analogy? Oh yeah, if my grandma used to say she was a virgin, would you call her a liar? Still to this day, that analogy makes zero fucking sense. So anyways, after Tavi for some reason thought I was doing slander and bullying in my video, 
They reply back, like I mentioned, with that declining him yet again. Hello, thank you for your message. However, we remain concerned that your copyright notification is not valid. So first I wanna say thank you, YouTube. YouTube is doing a great job because this gets abused, not just me. I'm talking all the time across YouTube. I see videos getting taken down by false copyrights. I see people filing false copyrights to try and monetize your videos. It's like a big, big problem. When I interviewed Peter, I'm pretty sure Tavi doesn't own Peter. It's not his property. I just, I can't, man. I don't know how people can be this dumb. This is like playing Russian roulette with a six bullet gun and loading six bullets. You're not gonna win. You're just digging your hole deeper and deeper. And this is where if you just jump back to the beginning, I almost feel like Tavi doesn't learn his lessons. He's incapable of learning. All right, Tavi, here's an L. I'm gonna go ahead, wrap it up for you hand it over to you just please with this l learn your lesson